The Sulu Archipelago in the southern Philippines has been the target of a U.S.-assisted counterinsurgency program since 2003, where American troops have helped rout the Abu Sayyaf rebel group. Dubbed America's second front against terrorism, Sulu has been hailed as a success, but it remains a very dangerous place. Heavily armed rival clans have created an environment of ongoing violence. These conflicts have little to do with radical Islam, it's local politics through the barrel of a gun. This is American arms, 45. I am police senior superintendent Jula Serim Adin Kasim, the acting uh, police director of Sulu. And if you ask me uh, why I'm here, uh, as uh, been entrusted the position of a uh, provincial director, it is my obligation to serve and uh, protect the community. So far, for my about 30 years in the service and serving solo for about 20 years, this is the, this is not the only uh, conflict that I have come in. So many. In Sulu, uh, it is uh, the tradition, customary tradition, that uh, they own firearm for protection purposes, like cell phone, yes. This is status symbol, because in Sulu, uh, paglalaki, they, they own firearm. Pagbabae, they own gold. Well, because there is no pay, so uh, some of them, although they are all, most of them are all relatives, they have been divided. The other group went to the other group, the other one, the other side. It's a little bit funny. Oh, my God, Meg, pull in in mo. Kita niyo ba habang kutausukon in? In Kamirua Party, Mga Hagari, Sin Paxis Pyre. I think I'm going to go to the family. 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 I'm Pahat yun, yan yun yung nakura nyo, di akan lukman, nabos. Pag maawot, mga sabto, ah, sabto, yung mga tahad yun, pati na kamuli may nyo yun, pagkari, pagkansak ko po ni sinapang yun, apag po may imen ka mo, huwag kami pihati kinil kasi. Kaya kato ni Islam. Mangyan, Maris ay makarisa sa magsakpok ka niyo. At sa kahulukan ka mga mukubitin niyo. Pagkain doa iniman ang lasalatan. Huwag magpalit na hindi islam buwan ka. Inuong kumilikan ka It's not uncommon here that clans will have uh, and use uh, mortars, uh, RPGs, um, heavy weapons on each other. Uh, in many conflicts in the world, insurgencies don't have that type of firepower that a clan will have here. So certainly the police, even if they had the proper resources, would find it hard uh, to exert the, the, the rule of law in many of these areas. Tiro team daw ang team namin. Lumalaban lang kami sa katotohanan, ganun lang. 
Katotohanan lang pinaglalaban namin. Walang ibang pinaglalaban namin. Most people, if, when they talk about insecurity, it's insecurity from a fellow clan, uh, from our members of, uh, of rival clans. That's where uh, people's uh, uh, number one threat comes from, whether they be in the police, whether they be in the military, the local government, even in the Abu Sayyaf group. Their number one enemy, chances are, is, is, is a rival clan. The children cannot go to school anymore and the fishermen cannot go out and catch fish because our enemies are chasing them away and shooting at them. It's like you cannot concentrate on your daily work anymore. We are afraid because our enemies are just there on the other side. If we didn't have these guns now, we'd probably be all dead by now. Many of these areas, uh, there, uh, there is no uh, uh, civil leaders that, uh, that are present. Um, so naturally, when there is a dispute between a family or within a family or between clans and people are armed, are they going to use those, those weapons or at least threaten to use them? And uh, without um, uh, a rule of law, um, it, there is a propensity uh, for these conflicts uh, to escalate. And what happens is, what makes it even more complicated, is that the insurgencies and the war on terror, it all gets mixed up in, into that.